Hello and welcome to the Heart of Markness podcast, episode 122. Doesn't matter what it is. It's the latest episode. At least it is now. What is it? It is episode 122. Hooray! Part 2 of Led Zeppelin in Los Angeles, June 25th, LA Forum, 1977. This glorious Mike Millard recording, lovingly remastered by Winston, is a hit. Got good feedback last week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, David, for the suggestion. I like it. Nemo, I think I'm going to go with yours next week, but I don't remember what it is, so I'll have to look. Well, friends. Well, friends. I almost didn't do this tonight. I wasn't really feeling it. I uh, Last Saturday, early Saturday morning, I was out in the front yard talking with the neighbors, etc., etc., being social, and uh, I tripped over one of those cork screw things you screw into the dirt and clip a dog leash to because the neighbors were out with their dogs. And I love their dogs. Labradoodles, Penelope and Poppy. Sweet dog, saying woof, jumping around, being dogs, you know. And I was walking up the driveway and I tripped over, just caught my foot on that stupid little corkscrew thing because my foot was set to go over the ledge of the driveway and didn't factor in the other thing. So I took a tumble and I had my arms full of stuff because I was just getting back from um, seeing my daughters. And I fell. I went boom. Which, in your 20s, or 30s, or anything, is like, oh, I fell down, you get up, you go, shit, that was funny. Instead, I fell down, spilled coffee all over, which sucked, and uh, sprained my wrist, and fucked up my knee. Along with shoulders, back, stuff like that. Not, oh my god, I'm in dead, but my wrist sucked, because it was my right wrist, and it was early in the morning, and it was to the point, I couldn't, I, you know... No gaming for me. No, uh, I didn't do I Have a ZZ Top show uh, to memorialize the loss of Dusty Hill. Couldn't do that because I couldn't even really use my hand for the, to use a mouse. So I pretty much stayed immobile and bored watching videos all weekend and reading, which is fine. Sounds dreamy to some. And it would have been dreamy if I hadn't been like, oh boy, oh boy, I've got the whole weekend to myself. I'm going to play video games. I'm going to get podcasts done. I'm going to just do nothing but enjoy myself. And uh, because of my wrist, I couldn't even enjoy myself, but I'm bummed. Well, I went lefty, which was weird, but ended up being super hot. (laughs) Just kidding. All right, friends. So the long and short of it was um, I'm walking with a cane, which is always a joy uh, because the knee is fine, except when it isn't. And when it isn't, it just goes out. And I'm I'm on the tail end of getting better. But as you can hear, I am very sleepy. It's been a shit week because I haven't been happy and I've been in pain. And I'm not sleeping well to begin with because I'm crazy. But I'm also not sleeping well because I'm crazy and half of my body is broken. So, But I got here, I sat down, and I said, no, I gotta do a podcast. And now I'm jazzed because I love doing this for you guys. It's good for me. And hopefully it's good for you too, darling. All right, here's what we're going to do. Well, first of all, I saw that Charlie Watts is in surgery. Holy shit, Charlie, stick with us. Hope he, uh, he's got the best care in the world, and he's a pretty healthy fella. So, fingers crossed for old Charlie, my goodness. And 80 years old. Bob Dylan's 80 years old. Jimmy Page is 77. They're up there. They're legitimately old. Oh, it's sad. Well, whatever. It is the way of life. I have um, some other stuff. I, uh, someone contacted me about a book that they wrote, a novel. I think it's called Searching for Jimmy Page. Um, and she asked if I, I might feature it or have her on. I'm looking into that. I'm going to see if I could get a, um, a look at the book 
or you know PDF or something and see. But that might be coming up soon. I'll still include music, I promise. Or I'll just do a standalone bonus podcast. In any case. All right. Uh, what else? Is there anything else? The Led Zeppelin documentary that's been bandied about. It, it's real. It's happening. It's going to be showing up this uh, this autumn at various film festivals. I think it's at the Venice Film Festival. It is a documentary that's been in the works for a couple years. And from what I understand, it's going to have... It'll probably be frustrating. It has the cooperation of the band, which is different from all those you know, unauthorized biography videos that you get where it's the same guys. It's like uh, Carmine Apiece, Richard Cole, Miss Pamela talking about Led Zeppelin. This is Jimmy, Robert, and Jonesy, along with archival footage of bon- Bonzo, talking about basically the ascent of Zeppelin um, through, I think, Zeppelin three through 1970, something like that, to when they displaced the Beatles as number one, which I think was summer of 1970. So, first of all, we're going to have something official. This is official, so it's going to be good. Second of all, from what I've heard and what I've read, and I've just read and heard, if you guys have, just what's out in, like, Variety Magazine and stuff. I don't have any inside scoop. But um, I would not be surprised if there was maybe some of those Bill Graham... uh, in-house videos from the early days, which we know to exist, or existed at one point, except when the whole fucking warehouse burnt down. Maybe some festival footage, maybe some bath footage. Um, What this will be is probably, since it's a documentary, will probably be like most documentaries, and when they show something, it'll just be a clip, and then they go back to talking, which is how documentaries work. However, if you recall... 18 years ago when the DVD set came out that release shook the tree and a lot of other stuff came out the Earl's Court videos the Nebworth videos Better Sound Royal Albert Hall complete uh, mixing board tape complete pro mixed release in the bootleg circles so I would expect some stuff to come out And if it doesn't, first of all, I'd be very surprised. And second of all, we still have an official documentary of the early days. So yay for that. I'll keep you posted when I hear more about it. And uh, Ramble on Radio, Brian, is probably going to be talking about that on his next episode as well. So I guess there's nothing to it but to plow ahead. I have for you. For part two of January, January, June 25th, 1977 at the L.A. Forum, I'm going to play something I've done before and I got a good response from it. The entire acoustic set without interruptions because that it it, it fucks up the flow when the song ends and, you know, like um, Black Country Woman's going right into Bromar Stomp. And then I jump in and go, well, wasn't that good? Well, let's listen to the rest of the song. So I'm not going to do that. I've, I've spliced it all together into one long track. How long is it? Oh, my God. Yeah, we're looking at more than 20 minutes for this. But it's the entire acoustic set, including Battle of Evermore. Ha, ha, ha. For your sins. All right. I did this because you can. it gives you a feel for the vibe. And, you know, I know you've heard 77 acoustic sets before. They're very good. But pay attention to the crowd. You won't have to look hard or try hard because it's a loud crowd. But just just sit back. If you're of a mind to and able to, you know, maybe fire up a doobie. And uh, just chill to the best band on earth playing some of the best songs on earth. Just for you. Courtesy of St. Michael Millard and his subversive Nakamichi. All right, friendos, here you go. Enjoy it, and I'll be back. Thank you.
to be found in the more magical parts of England even today, where the McDonald's hamburgers are not sold. And it's true to say that this next song has got... James has got some trouble with his three-next instrument. This song hasn't got that too much to do with England, in fact, it's got a lot more to do with um, the fact that the monitors are feeding back. The man who controls the monitors, can you get it together, please? Yeah, come on. Search for the badge holder.
Do we owe a lot to the um, sort of American folk blues tradition that comes from, I guess, from Louisiana, Yazoo, Delta, and up to Chicago? But we also owe a lot to the early sort of mid 50s American rock and roll, Gene Vincent and Eddie Cochran, and uh, people who you are no doubt fully aware of in advance. I guess this next piece has got nothing to do with them at all. <laughs>
Well, wasn't that lovely? <clears throat> it was. It was. I like that. I think if I'm going to be doing acoustic sets from now on, I think I'm going to lean more toward doing the entire set as one homogenous unit as opposed to jumping in or eliminating stuff like Battle of Evermore because you know what? In context, 44 years after the fact, it's not that bad. It does the trick. All right, friendos, I hope you enjoyed that. Won't you please, won't you please, please won't you be my neighbor? All righty. I have... All right. All right, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to listen to Achilles' Last Stand. This is not the world's greatest Achilles' Last Stand. It's not the worst. Jimmy has a little hard uh, time finding his way here and there in the solo. But all in all, this is a great Jimmy show. It's a great Zeppelin show. And you know what? Achilles is a great song. And, you know, we grade harshly because we're super fans. And this is still great. It's still Led Zeppelin. It's still Achilles. Here you go. Again, June 25th, 1977. Achilles, last stand. Bow, 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 bow.
his last stand, which is from an album. But I want present! A title which I forget. that surrounds all of us in our lives as we go as life takes its course and people adjust their snare drums and bass drums and yes it's always the same having a nervous breakdown who knows this is a song that has in fact the opposite effect to communication breakdown. It goes like this. That was badass. That was badass. I like the little finish. Damn. This podcast has made me a fan of 77 Zeppelin. When it's good. All right, friendos. We have reached the end of our road. Yep, I was just thinking about something. Looking at the sorry, I just tuned out. I was just looking at my uh, Audacity program, and it looked like I screwed something up, but I didn't. All right, friendos. All that's left is the spiel. No more songs after this, so you can bounce now if you want. I am findable on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook under the gnome de plume Heart of Markness. There's a Facebook group for Heart of Markness. You are welcomed and encouraged to join. Make some friends on things. <clears throat> I have heartofmarkness.com, which is where I post the complete recordings that I feature here. For example, you can go to heartofmarkness.com right now. Right now, I dare you. And you will find a link for this complete concert so you can own the whole damn show. Not just the songs I feature. For free, because I love you. Where else am I? Patreon. If you like what I do, and you like how I do it, and you're of a mind and you have the means to support me, take a trip over to patreon.com slash heartofmarkness, or click the Patreon banner on the homepage of heartofmarkness.com. See if there's anything there for you. One of the perks you get as a patron is I read your name, unless you tell me not to, as one of the titans upon whose shoulders rests this podcast. So a Laurel and Hardy handshake to Philip, Picard, Knegern, Jeff, Chris, Michael, Rob from Melbourne, Australia. Horrible accent, I apologize. Wayne, Brad, Danielle, Tracy, David, Mark. I was going to say other David, but there are no other Davids. You are all Davids. Another David, though, not the other David. Bonzo, Billy, and Mimo. Thank you, friends. Thank you, friends. I, uh, like I said, I haven't been feeling great this week. This week has sucked, plus it's been hot and muggy. And I've got a brace on my knee, and I just took the brace off my fucking wrist. And now I am going to spend the weekend. I have that ZZ Top thing queued up and ready to go. I just need to record my talky talk to it. That's what I'll be doing this weekend. I've got another patron episode to kick out. And uh, who knows? Maybe this weekend I'll just crank out podcasts. It's been a while since I've done that and it's fun when I get in a groove. So thank you very much for listening. If you have any suggestions or a show or a tour or something you want me to promote, uh, let me know. You can reach me at heart. No, no, blah. You can reach me anywhere. Any of those places I already said. Or mark at heartofmarkness.com. And uh, I will endeavor to reply in good time. Thank you very much for listening. Be good to yourself and be good to each other. Thank you, and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>